And now, WAFF 48 Sports with Paloma Villacana. Hagan scoops it up. Seven seconds. Swings it. Washington fires. No. Rebounded by Harper. And it's over. Anything can happen in March. For the first time, Auburn is going to the final four. It's a trip to Minneapolis for the Tigers. What a game, folks, and what a story for this group of guys right here who are advancing to the Final Four for the first time in program history. Just their passion for each other and their school. I've never seen anything like it. Auburn's last loss of their season was to Kentucky back in February, and it wasn't pretty. They lost by 27 points, but the Tigers came out today to show the Wildcats, hey, they aren't that team back in February. They're hot right now, playing with more confidence than any anyone has ever seen. They came out today to play for their injured teammate Chuma Okiki and they came out today hoping to make school history and they did just that. It was Jared Harper that tied the game at 60 with 30 seconds left to play. Kentucky had two shots to win this game but look at Auburn just swarm the ball on defense. They blocked it once they blocked it again as the clock ran out. Over time we go. Harper was the king of OT, hitting basket after basket, punching their ticket to the final four, 77 to 71 in overtime. So Auburn set a school record today of 12 straight wins, which is the nation's longest active win streak right now. And as we just saw, Jared Harper balled out. He is so fast. Game high 26 points against Kentucky. Bryce Brown added 24 points. Goodness. Auburn faces first seed Virginia in the final four on Saturday. Game time has been set to 510 Central in Minneapolis. And for the first time ever, I can finally say the Tigers are ready to compete for a national championship. Coming into the season, our goals were to go to the Final Four and be able to compete for a, a national championship. Um, for So I think our whole work this whole summer and the preseason and during the whole season was for, was for this exact moment right here for for, for what we want to do as a team and, and on how we want to build our legacy as a team. So um, I know I can't do it without any of my teammates, and I know we're all going to all be prepared and be ready to go compete for a national championship. Switching over to the Braves, Buckhorn's Kyle Wright had his first career start tonight pitching for the Braves. He finished his starting night with two hits, three runs, five walks, and four strikeouts. He gave up one home run in the third inning. The Braves went on to lose 5-1. I'm thinking Wright will have some better nights out there on the mound this season. The Braves' home opener is tomorrow night against the Cubs. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back.